Hello friends, welcome back. Uh, in today's video, we will see how we can install and configure uh, Logstash to send ALB logs from S3 to our Elasticsearch so that we can visualize in Kibana. Okay, so the flow will be uh, that configure your ALB to send the access log logs to S3 bucket uh, that you can configure on your AWS account uh, by logging to console. Then from this, we will use log stash to pull it from S3 bucket and push the logs, chip the logs to Elasticsearch. For that, you need to have access ID, I mean access and secret key for the uh, SC bucket. So, so let's get started. Okay, so this is my elastic server. Let's I don't have any uh, log stash index pattern as of now. Now oh, this is my last search in Kibana server. Okay, to start with, we have to first install, configure the log stash uh, repo and then install the and don't worry, uh, I'll provide all these uh, commands and uh, commands on the section, uh, comment section of this video. So let's now create the repo file. Now install Logstash. Now Logstash is installed. Let's uh, go to Logstash and see if we have the free plugin also installed. And for that, you need to go to let's list the plugin. Let's list all the plugins. Now let's grab S3. Let's see if we have both input and out output plugins.
here we go so we have the necessary plugins okay now let's go and configure uh, logstash to connect to s3 so for that we need to go to etc logstash folder go to contract t we need to uh, keep all the configuration files under contract t folder now create the logstash.conf file here you need to specify the access key and secret key of your S3 bucket and that should have uh, required access on your uh, uh, bucket on which your AWS uh, ALB logs are saved. So in some of the cases this prefix might not work so you can comment this out as well. Save it. So I'll just go ahead and uh, specify the correct access ID. Now you can cre create another output for .com file and uh, specify your Elasticsearch uh, details there or if you want you can add it here itself. So I'll just go ahead and add it here. Provide your Elasticsearch IP address and port and the log type which you want so I'll you can change this this index will be created on your logic search so I'll mention it as AB username and password okay so let's save it okay now let's start the log stretch server and also enable it to start uh, at the startup okay so it started Come back and see. Mm, it might take a while to reflect here and pause it till then. Let me see. The logs as well. Okay, now now we see the ALB log. Uh, this is the name of index which we created in uh, logstash.com. So let's create the pattern. Okay, so now we have index pattern. Let's go to the data, discover and see. Select the LB filter. See now we see box coming here. But if you have noticed, it's uh, not well formatted. This is draw box. So if you want to format it in a better way, you need to create some filters. So let's go and create a filter.
uh, this filter is for formatting all the uh, docs which is of type ALB. So remember this is the type we have set in our uh, logfash.com. So I'll, I'll give this complete filter under the uh, comment section of this video. Here we have to set up type field. So let's add that. Now let's restart the log session. Hello, sir. Okay, so after we configure this filter, it will start downloading all the logs which are present in your S3 and In this format. Now let's go to index management. Okay, so I think I must type here. It should be plus. It should be equal to inch of plus. Okay. That's why we are not getting lost here. Let's go fresh and different now. See now you see it, uh, it has started downloading from uh, the back test. So in my SC bucket I have logged since uh, December 2019. So it has started downloading all. And if you go there and see that one first December 2019. Okay. See, now you are able to see it's an all well formatted. Uh, you see here index pattern because earlier we have created uh, without this filter. So that's the, way, that's the reason it's not able to uh, create uh, index cache of this. So, but uh, you can go ahead here and refresh your index.
So here you have all the filters. So based on this, you can create your dashboard and all. So friends, this is how you can uh, configure uh, your log stash to send a ALBs, zipped, zipped format, archive uh, ALB logs to, S uh, to your Elasticsearch hosted on your uh, premises uh, without uh, having to use uh, uh, Lambda function on S3 because uh, for each T query and each transaction on your uh, using your lambda function that is that costs some dollar and if you have a lot of traffic coming to your uh, ALB you would prefer not to you will prefer to have uh, this setup using log stash instead of going with lambda function so if you have any query or question you can uh, post on the comment section of this video and do like and subscribe uh, to get posted to be posted in fact uh, for the new upcoming videos. All the best. Have a great day. Bye-bye.